Beep, 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 Setting up things, setting up things, setting up things, setting up things. Beep. Hello. Yeah. Here we are. I didn't have my volume turned down yet. Oops. I don't have my own stream up. Actually, I might not. I don't think I'm going to bother streaming. Okay, let's see. How are we doing for computer audio? Okay. Crab can hear us at least, so that's a confirmation. Nothing is terribly broken. Theoretically. Yeah. Oh, God. Wait, there we go. I can see your chat now. Hooray. Okay, I'm gonna go back to sound settings and turn the music back up to 100% and we'll hope our darndest that the Minecraft noises don't drown out you because I haven't figured out how to separate Discord audio from the rest of the computer audio. Have fun with that. Yeah, I, I'm not big brained enough to, to do that yet. And you think I am? None of us are big brain enough for this. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> here we are. 20 minutes and, and all nine of us here. Which nine be... of us? 
Gonna be real, that's that's more than average. <laughs> oh, there's nine people in the in the chat, okay. There's not nine people in this call, that'd be. No, that would that would be horrific, and I would immediately leave. Real. <laughs> there we go, Minecraft is real. Minecraft is real in the stream. Oh good lord. So I I I I've got to admit I'm a little bit jealous. It's like I make a, a an active effort to, you know, try and stream regularly to be like really, you know, to like ch talk with the chat and be like really, you know, excited about stuff. And I get like, it's a good day when I get three viewers. Mm. And you just appear and you get nine viewers right off the bat. Like, okay. And to be fair, I did get ratioed by someone who had 22k followers. Could, what? When did this happen? Uh, no, it was, it was earlier. So, like, shout out to Bun Flores, who, who's never going to watch this stream. Because I don't think she even knows about this Twitch channel. Oh. Oh god, we're having... We're having some... It hasn't even been half an hour and we're already having the difficulties. <laughs> I just got here. Yeah. I mean, I, was, I wasn't lying when I said this, that my internet, like, deconnects, like, two to three times a day. Me. On a functioning day. <laughs> God. Well, I'm making progress on, on Spite Road, at least, so... Okay. Ooh. Dono? By the blaze ascended. Hello, uh -oh. I am here. Dono's work! <laughs> the TTS <laughs> Dono's work, Pog! <laughs> the stream isn't completely shattered! Yeah! <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying at any given time these days. The the text to speech shit for the stream works. No, I get that. It's just more a matter of like what language are we speaking sometimes? Every day we do our best to make English worse. We really do. Hi. So let's see. Where I last where I last lost consciousness in this giant sprawling server. Gosh. I was passed out in front of the, the crab church in the crab which, city. Which one? Which one? <laughs> the crab church that's in the crab city. <laughs> oh by the spawn. Yeah. Not out here in the middle of Fuckville nowhere. Um, can't pick you up right now. So Kofi doesn't do text to speech, but the message does show up on screen and like it should show up in chat. My car is seventeen bad, and I can't up anymore. There's a there's a crab grave out here. There's a crab what? Crab graveyard. Of course there is. Crab cemetery. Oh. So you mean a uh, seafood ghost. restaurant? <laughs> I'm doing it. What? What are you doing? Karma 17 cheered. X200. What are you doing, Anor? Yep, that's not gonna have any consequences. <laughs> 
the consequence, though, is that a crab ghost appeared in front of us. I, I minimized my game a second just to see your, your, um, Twitch stream, and it's literally just you typing- it's you having just finished Seafood Restaurant. <laughs> the perfect moment. And of course, the end embassy. The end embassy, if you will. <laughs> Oof. Oof. We have an end embassy in another tourist attraction that definitely isn't the uh, um, mystery flesh pit. Real. And of I course, was very unhappy with me. And of course, we have to visit the money crab. Because, because that's that's just what you do when you want to make money. Oh, frick, I forgot to feed my cat. Oh, I see. One second. <laughs> Goodbye to Jaybird. Must feed infant. There's so much to unpack here. Including crab towers. There's a crab flag. I'm back. You came back just in time for me to see this crab flag on the top of this crab tower. Oh yeah, there's a lot of those. This server's just full of hidden crabs. It really is. It gives me such a bright hopes for what will happen on the half stack at SMP. There surely there surely won't be two hundred crab statues. <laughs> surely not. Surely not. <laughs> there surely won't be two hundred crab statues. Just hidden in every possible place, waiting to never be unpacked. <laughs> I mean, we could like fit into the lore and say there is like a, a crab religion. Real. I mean, look, there's even a small man crab on the small man tree. I'm nowhere near you right now. I should probably like go see what you're looking at. Uh. I'm at spawn. Uh. Now you can probably just TP to me. Haha. Uh, my, my, my bone tree uh, has been pickled in my absence. <laughs> as has as has my gold tree. Cold. That's such a. Do you want me to get rid of them? Or... I mean, oh, there's a, there's a I crab on top of it. I wasn't here to contest these changes, so like that's on me. <laughs> Is it? I... Oh god, I'm just now seeing the money crab. You're seeing I the monstrosity. Like it. It's got. It's acquired a second hat since the last time I looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the crab flag looks like there's just a crab holding on to the tower with one claw. It's it's fighting for its life. <laughs> ah, the spawn cave has an entrance other than a pit into the emptiness now. It's looks like... really cool on this looks really cool on the map. Hmm? I, I've got journey I've got journey map on. Uh what looks um, cool? The uh, crab city? Crab, yeah. Oh yeah, I imagine it does so cool on it. <laughs> Spawn Cave really was properly yes, but and thank you, Stag, for the twenty. I saw it. Ooh. I was just too busy, too busy obsessing over flag crabs <laughs> to say anything about it. But would you like you me to 20. read out? Would you like me to like point out stuff like that and read them out for you? Uh, no, I got chat open. It just takes me a while to say anything about it sometimes. sometimes. Oh, I hadn't seen you. I hadn't seen your new skin yet. 
Oh yeah. I mean, I'd seen your um your picture, but I hadn't seen it in person. I'm in the hole. <laughs> You're in the hole. I'm in the hole. I'm right, like directly below you. Hold on. <laughs> I'll do something funny. <laughs> Just look up here and I'll do something funny real quick. I'm looking up. You raise me up so that I can stand <laughs> on mountains. God, childhood flashbacks. This is the only song we had. Oh, there's so a string cute. on the top of these bamboo to keep them at uniform heights. Schmancy. I, now I kind of want to have just one just to like directly underneath and just let it grow out of control. Do it. Yes, there, there we go. That'll do. Let's, uh, let's just speed things up a bit. I appreciate that, like, it's not the same crab over and over again. There's some variety. There's all sorts of varieties. You get glass crabs, flag crabs, money crabs. Wait, does, does bamboo have a max height? Um, not that I recall. Does it have a max height that it naturally grows to? Uh... If there is, I don't know it. So it doesn't want to go past this. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna make it do so, but it really doesn't want to. It might be because of, like, the rocks around it. If I do this... And this? Nope, that just breaks it. Oh. Max is 12 to 16. Ah, darn it. Darn. My hopes and dreams have been shattered. How dare you do this to me? Curse the limitations of this feeble reality. <laughs> I have to remember what blocks are in this position. There we go. A blue crab. And a rock crab. And an orange crab in the distance. Just one crab, two crab, red, red crab, blue crab. crab. Okay. This is really just turning into crab finding stream. Oh, big fog. Twelve viewers fog. <laughs> We've reached past. We've made it to double digit concurrent viewers. <laughs> Well, if anyone if anyone here hasn't wasn't here for the beginning, uh, here we are. This is. Uh, I am not the admin of this server, but it is technically my server because it was my idea to have a creative mode server where people just went ham and built shit for like exactly one year. And Wish me luck. I'm having to remember how to how the fill command works. Oh God bless. Um, deep slate. Great place is called tiles. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna walk through my nether portal. You've got that song stuck in my head now, and I'm not happy about it. Oh uh, shit, I've, I've, I've portaled twice over. Wait, no. Oh, I. Okay, the, the the new the new way portals load is it, it really trips me up sometimes. 
it's like they changed how portals work yeah, they, they changed like the way you load into other dimensions just a bit huh. at least from the last time the last time that i really bothered to travel through dimensions yeah. it used to be you'd sit there go woogly for a moment and then you'd come out but now it's like you teleport the instant that you walk in so yeah like that is no, funky yeah there and then once you're outside there's like a bigger dizzy bit <laughs> than it used to be portals are creative with gnomes and survival pick one crab huh portals work differently depending on the game though that's that's kind of fucked <laughs> And another brick road that I built. And this nether shack with this slip with this little man. Nisha. A flag. So while we're here with our non zero amount of concurrent viewers. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a tour around the places that I'm aware exist. And I know that that's not all the places on this server, because I've only been to a few of them. I'm trying my best. Well, I wonder what's happening here. Nothing down this way, says the sign. How dare they say this to me? upon viewing a very obvious spiral staircase. I'm gonna be built different, just like all the people who die in horror movies. <laughs> and climb up this rickety, non-Asha compliant staircase. Just like the <laughs> sign didn't tell me to. You alright if I set it, for, set it tonight for a bit? Mm, yeah. I'm in another, so it doesn't affect me. Oh, there's this whole ass other tunnel here. Okay. And I'm still mad that I lost that entire uh Oops. dream. I think it I think it was a good one too. Hmm. Left or right? I'm standing on the right already, so I'm just gonna go to the front. Oh. Oh, this is right up on the world ceiling. My tender forehead is scraping up on the bedrock layer. I, I will say that uh, the You Raised Me Up song is also a childhood thing stuck in my head. If only because it was like a weirdly popular thing for people to cover in Chinese singing competitions. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've never thing heard is, of that before. The thing is, in like in certain parts of Asia, it's it's like cultured. If you know English, ah, huh. like it's like it's it's like a it's like a rich people flex. It's like knowing Latin. Yeah. Except trendier because it's also the language and people and more you and more yeah. useful. <laughs> yeah. And it's just also trendier because it's it's the language people speak on the internet. <laughs> yeah. It's also in a lot of countries outside the US, English is like a STEM field language. Hmm. Because like a lot of the Oh that's horrific. 
a lot of the like math and science terms like they got coined in english or like european languages english just sounds like like that oh that's horrific um mm -hmm. well i just i English just seems like a very, not a very good uh, language for science stuff. Oh yeah. I guess it. I don't know how to word it. It's it's kind of, English is an objectively there, horrific language. It really there's is. There's too many words for some things and not enough words for other things. Yeah, I think it's because English just has like more words overall because they keep. Like, beating up other languages for lunch money. Yeah. It's good for poetry, though. It's the one thing I will say. It's good for poetry. English. It's great yes. for literature. And, and not much else. <laughs> and sentence. It's not good for anything else. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Like, out outside of English-speaking countries, English is a very, like, STEM, STEM major associated language just because of, like, how it gets used in Yeah. In I have science. noticed, I have noticed that, like, in any translation of scientific stuff, any, um, um, the words, any, like, scientific words are basically just the same as English, but with some flair to make it identifiable as this language. Yeah. And like and because uh STEM science is it's very much not a warping class kind of field because of how expensive it is to get into STEM uh overall. Yeah. It's just like it's one of the many reasons that uh <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I reached the end of this like block hundred block long tunnel and it really is just like there really is nothing at the end. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like yep, I don't know what I expected. It's literally exactly as advertised. So yeah, English tends to be an upper class language, especially in like Asia and particularly South Asia. Oh, where? What? Where the heck am I? What? What did you do? <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, I tried to go home. Okay. And I fell down a pit. The stairs have made our bone or quartz. Mm -hmm. It's a three by three pit. And there's a sign that I spawned facing towards exactly that says, for what reason do you come to these depths? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I, don't, I didn't want to come here. I love that the triumphant atmospheric Minecraft music is really kicking in, like, while I'm- while I'm walking down this completely featureless- Wait, I don't- I don't know how to get out. Huh? I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, uh, can you teleport out again? No, I can't, because I keep trying to teleport back to my home base, but it's in the overworld, and I'm not. Oh! And I don't know how uh, to teleport out of the nether. Uh, TP to me. I'm still in the tunnel. <laughs> uh... And now yeah. you're no longer in the hole. The hole wasn't the problem! <laughs> yeah, I think it's cause, like... I'm just I, in I don't tunnel. think you- I don't think you can, like, teleport between dimensions is the problem. I'm just seeing literal signs saying you're not going to find anything. I don't know why you kept coming down here. Well, I wanted to see what was at the end. <laughs> Seriously, nothing this way. Uh. In 
just made me more curious to see like how committed to the bit it was gonna be. Uh, a crab for your troubles. Oh, here's the hole I fell down, I think. Oh, is it yep, like the really, like... the really shitty staircase that I took to get here? Yeah. I think the oh, fact is that the way we're I need like... to go? Yeah, um... Frick, now I have to turn around. Okay. Yeah, the staircase is how I got to this tunnel, so like, go down that staircase. Stair but not all the way down, because that's... Yeah. Once it starts having OSHA-compliant stairs, that's when you know. <laughs> I think the fact that like this tunnel is like, right up on the world ceiling, it probably doesn't help either. <laughs> Because trying to teleport around where the world borders are is always kind of fucked. Really? Yeah. The stairs aren't changing. And I've just hit, for what reason do you come to these depths? Hmm. Okay, and I'm seeing the area in front of me change. Which means I'm probably hitting the stairs. I'm right below you, please wait. Crab for your troubles. Hello. <laughs> okay, here we go. There's nothing down there. No, no, I, I can I take you out of this. I checked, Anor. There's nothing. I I came from up here, so like, I don't know how believe... to get out. <laughs> don't believe you, Anor. Oh, hey, look, there's something. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the tunnel that takes you back to like. You, oh. hey, you me to keep going until the stairs became OSHA compliant. The stairs did not change. I kept going. Oh, really? I thought the, I thought oh, the stair- I built this! I built most- <laughs> Oh, I see. I, I was under the very false impression that the stairs uh, became, like, I, actual stairs as I soon as it I hit this layer. The it looks like my aesthetic. I mean, I, I, this looks like but no, this is way too fancy to be mine. But it's the same mm -hmm. kind of material. Oh, I built a good chunk of this to connect back. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was, uh... It started when with Balrancy's area. And then it when built they updated, When they updated from point one to point two, I lost all of my map progress, including all of my waypoints. Um, which I'm very unhappy about. Um, oh, there's Crab. So, I have no idea where I am at any given time, ever. Um. <laughs> oh, there's another crab. Of course there is. That's not what this portal is for, though. It's for, like, an actual build over here. Yeah. Well, at least I'm in reality again, so I can head back to progress point B. Mm -hmm. I need to put progress point B closer to the ground. <laughs> I just want you to know I was completely out of sync of, of sync with you for that entire thing. <laughs> and uh, and yet it was still coherent. <laughs> was it? I don't think it was. That's the power of the Wii Shop music. <laughs> Is that the Wii Shop music? I don't think it was. I think that was the um either the main menu or the me creator. It's one of those. <laughs> It's we something. 
We can't fucking sing. Really? <laughs> well, I made it to the... I made it to the far right area, which is slightly more yassified than the last time I saw it. I don't like that term. <laughs> we'll be right back, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I see. Really, really, really went for the church aesthetic, which was slightly accidental, but it got more deliberate as time went on. We got gardens and a little gate with Camilo tea and then a little gate. Little gate to a new peasantry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this, but here we are. I'm really digging the wall textures here. There's whatever the fuck that was gonna be. And another crab. And then cowware. And more world. World. And daylight. I know Arson did like a non-zero amount of things to this village, but uh, mayhaps they do not bear it. <laughs> Perhaps they are not for mortal eyes to behold. So let's just go commit heresy instead and invade this holy ground. Stop, stop. I'm stomping on the lawn. It's very funny to me that there's a- that, that, they, that she put a lawn texture. It looks nice, but I can see some lawn blocks. And I've been teleported against my will to the, to the secret crab church inside the church. Let me go back to the entrance. Wow, look at this building we've never been to on stream before. I totally wasn't teleported into a crab room. No siree. Wow, look at this building I'm seeing for the first time. Wow, chandeliers. <laughs> it really is nice though. The stained glass turned out good, and so did the chandeliers. The king, the royal consort, the heir. No wall. Need a little of these fleets. I'm gonna just trespass on the royal family real quick here. Beep, beep, beep. You were not meant for this world. <laughs> the evil has been defeated. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
And look, look, there's already small mans here. We don't need more. I don't remember if they were there the last time I looked at that pond, but they're there. Wee, wee. The unmute button. Oop. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hello. I killed an axolotl where you weren't looking. Okay. I mean, uh, something, something, how dare you. <laughs> It was trespassing upon the throne of the monarchy. <laughs> but there was there was a bunch of there were countless other ashome inside the fountain, which I graciously let survive, or they were in water and not destined to die drowning uh, and suffocating in the air that they could not stand to breathe. Unlike the one that was trespassing on the throne of the monarchy, which was inside air. I'm glad you're having fun. I was not meant to step out of this portal. I was trying to go to the other road. Quick question for chat. Any idea how to evolve a uh, Dantler in Pokemon Legends? Because I feel like it's going to be something stupid and obscure. And I don't want to bother googling it. Stantler? Does yeah, Stantler? it evolves into Wordier. Oh. Hmm. Got the new evolution. Oh, yeah. I'm going inside your nether tunnel. Okay. Have fun. I knew it was dumb. I knew it. What is it? Because I know for overcool you have to use, uh, I think, poison barrage or like bar barrage in strong style 20 times, so I think for Stantler it's Psy Shield Bash and Ad- YES! I KNEW IT! I freaking knew it! I got it! It's so dumb! Because the Pokédex says you have to use the, the- you have to use Agile Style a bunch, and also you have to use Psy Shield Bash, because it's the new move it has, and like, this is related somehow. I don't like it. Dumb, it's- Stupid. Where's my thing still? There it is. Yeah, Renergus and um freaking the the bird with a leak. What's it called? Farfetched. Farfetched. I think it, like, it's... <laughs> What was it like? You have to get like a crit a certain amount of times in a row or something. Feebas. With Feebas, that I, I guess that kind of makes sense. I thought that was kind of cute. How did this? How did this never despawn? This was from the last time I was logged in. <laughs> was the chunk just unloaded this whole time? What? Oh, um, I tried to ride a horse to the nether, and I, I did so, <laughs> forgetting about your- forgetting about your hermetically sealed doors, 
Eventually, I got frustrated trying to take a horse through a hermetically sealed door, and so I, I simply deleted the horse. I'm looking at your screen now. And I guess the evidence of the evidence of the blood upon my hands has just never disappeared <laughs> because because I left so fast the chunk stayed unloaded. <laughs> Because, like, the thing about item despawning is it only <laughs> happens if the chunk is loaded. <laughs> oh my god, Aenor. <laughs> I never thought my hermetically sealed doors would lead to this. Actually, continue the previous conversation. I'll say what the stupidest evolution is, and one of my favorites okay. is fucking- oh, I forgot what its name is. The fucking squid, where you have to turn is the it DS the up- the fucking psychic long. squid? Yup. It's oh, yeah. dark psychic type. It sounds like a playground rumor. It sounds like my dad works at Nintendo and he told me that if you turn the DS upside down, it evolves. Yeah, Malamar. And it's literally just the previous evolution, but it's upside down now. <laughs> and uh, bigger, Alyssa, I guess, and evil. Alyssa, you say not as bad as Renarius Ren from Sword and Shield. I'm, I'm, go I'm gonna be real. I think a lot of Sword of Sword and Shield just kinda... Kinda sucks. Sword and Shield fucking sucked. Sword and Shield just kinda sucked. <laughs> and I say this, like, I, I, I played it. I kind of enjoyed it. it. It's not... It's not a good game, and it's not a good Pokemon game. The story kind of fucking sucks, too. <laughs> Gonna be real. Yeah. Also, um, I don't know if it was the localization or just, like, the original dialogue itself, but, like, man. Something about the dialogue was just so... No one sounded like a real person. They all, they all sounded like they came out of like a five-year-old kids TV show network. Like the kind of... Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm in any way an expert on how British people talk. I'm not trying to claim that. But even I could tell that that wasn't Right. Like, they just went too far. Like, they had to use every single piece, piece of British slang possible from every single dialect. And it's like, eh. It's like, Jesus eh. Christ, just, just pick a dialect. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, I mean, it wasn't <laughs> Mass Malou murder. I know exactly what you're talking about. All hail Lord Cupcake. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> King off rail. Um, it's just it's it's. I mean, it's it wasn't a matter of like everyone had every dialect ever. It was just it was a bit much. And this is coming Brit, from Brit someone dialogue who... written by someone who's like never heard a British person in their life. <laughs> yeah. And this is coming from me. Like, I think that says a lot, considering, yeah, you know... BBC shit you've seen. <laughs> and also the fact that Google Docs think I'm British. <laughs> Which I th Every single time I try to type, it's like, do you want to change your localization to the UK? And I'm like, no, fuck off. I'm allowed to spell this like that. Once again, pondering my wizard tower. <laughs> Which now has a crab flag on it. <laughs> Which, you know, not, not the worst fate to befall my wizard tower. Brings True. In... There, there. There's a crab on the road. Fight road? 
And I'm getting rid of the spite road crab. No! Oh, I was okay. assuming that you didn't want it there, because it's like directly inside the road. Well, okay, I... Wait, are you in the nether right now? Uh, no, I'm I'm in the overworld. Oh, thank outside God. Outside of the wizard tower. See, like, it's directly inside the road, and I don't know if you <laughs> want that. <laughs> okay, maybe we should move that at least. We, we can just... just politely redirect it to the side. Yeah. Let's see, what gonna... is this? The, the first concrete. build of the stream. Relocate the crab. Okay, what concrete is this? A, a pink, white, and um, yellow. I know that needs to go. Okay, pink. White and yellow. Two, three, two, three. Oh, Wait, is it concrete or concrete powder? Concrete. Okay. Two, three, one up, over, over, up, over, over, do, 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 ha, ba, da, ba, that looks about right. That crab has been relocated. <laughs> there we go. By the way, if you ever feel like building a castle, there needs to be one up there at some point. Also, I really need to remove these walls so it isn't just one big block. I kind of planned out where the walls should go by putting, like, blue wool. I mean, I'm not going to force you to build stuff for me, but if you want to, that job is open. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me stare at this road here. No, for me, I started with... So just... technically, I started with Generation 4. I started with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time. That was my first ever video game in general and first ever Pokemon game. Then I had Pokemon Black. Then I had... Um... Oh, what was after that? I think Pokemon Moon was next? No, no. Um, that was X. Um, X was the first one I really played, because it was the first time I was old enough to, like, properly enjoy it. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, I never completed the Pokédex, just because of, like, like, trading stuff. Um, I think Moon was the first version where I, or no, I did, I did complete the Kalos Pokédex. Um, and I completed the Alola one. Um, and I also played um, Omega Sapphire. So I was very prepped for Sword and Shield. I wasn't, you know, I didn't have nostalgia for the older games. I was, you know, very much into the newer ones. That that was my my bread and butter there, um, and they fucking blew it, you know. They got rid of so much of the stuff that made the previous games good. Um, I love the story for Sun Moon. Um, I fully like bawled my eyes out a few times. Uh, was Sun um, and Moon the one with the space lion? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I like the space bat specifically. Yeah, space but, like, bat and I don't, space lion. I, I don't even remember the, the details, but I just remember a scene where you're sitting with Lily, like, I think outside, just watching the rain, and my god, I was just tearing up. I, I loved it. 
Um, and then Sword and Shield happened, and I felt nothing. I felt nothing, and I was sad about that. Yeah. Uh, the DLC was also kind of pretty disappointing from Sword oh, and I, Shield. I fucking hate Swordbird. Swordbird and the, what, what was his the, hair looks the like was the other guy. What the fuck Sword Bert and Shield Bert. Yeah, well, they're just they were such shit. First off, shitty names. His hair looks like a dick. Real. They've got shit names and dick hair. And it's not, it's just not pleasant to look at. Up had some potential, I think. And he just kind of became annoying. Which I don't think was the intention. Wait, who um, became annoying? The uh, rival in Sword Shield. Oh yeah, he was annoying. <laughs> um, oh god, I can't remember his name. Who was the, the rival for Sun Moon? Because I loved him. Because he, he felt less like a rival and like it felt more like you were the rival in a way, you know? Like you got the, the Pokemon with the advantage. How That was his name. I love how. I know I went and forgot his name, but that, that happens a lot with both characters and real life people. So like, give me a break. <laughs> like, like, hot more how. That's fair. Like, honestly, if you enjoyed Sword and Shield... Good for you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad that someone was able to enjoy that game. Like, I don't think there's... I'm not gonna, like, be like, Oh, it was a terrible game and you should feel bad for enjoying it. It's like, no, who cares? Like, I'm not... I, I, I went through enough trauma that I'm not gonna make fun of people for liking things. It's not gonna happen. Just fuck that. <laughs> Alyssa, why? <laughs> Alyssa really going for the throat and saying, I just like that you really like my batting quits. Just, oh, he really does. He shouldn't become a Pokemon Ranger. Like, instead of becoming a frat professor, because I don't think the man has the attention span for science. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um... Team Yell was kind of funny, but I, but they were, I mean, Team Yell was also immediately following up Team Skull. There was nothing they could have done. Like, I think at that point, you, you go back to a traditional team and then try again later once Team Skull is, like, kind of faded away a bit. Because, like, immediately following up Team Skull, you're not going to beat that. It's Team Skull. You can't. You're not gonna. You just can't beat the vibes. <laughs> You can't beat the vibes. Am I am I seeing a wooden crab in the distance? Look at it again. I'm trying to try to see if it's wood or not. Oh, it's not wood. I think it's. Oh, I see it. Oh it's no, that's not this brown concrete. Yeah, it's concrete again. I only have the Twitch stream, so I don't know how behind I am. Yeah. It's just like the last crab I saw was made of like actual snow and red <laughs> wool. So, like... It's your boy, poverty and millennial despair. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's Team Skull. That's them. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk down this road, and once I deem it to be a sizable distance, I will I will pitch a series of tents. For my this... great self amusement. I had I had some drawings up for reference, and this is the last one that I forgot to close. Let me see. Chat doesn't get to see. <laughs> no, oh, I I oh, I've seen that account. Yeah. No, I already sent it to you. I had it up for reference because I needed a reference on how to draw the man's face. Did you need sideburn help? Isn't that what it was? I did. I did need sideburn help, yes. 
And this was the best sideburn help I could find. Yeah. Uh, Chad, since since you're no, don't tell them. I want them to guess. I think it'd be no, funny. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm telling them things that won't help. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, I want you to know that, like, that I, I give a shit about none of you, so I'm not gonna tell you what what was sent to me. But it was, but it was a reference. Uh, involving an Asian man's sideburns. <laughs> Doesn't elaborate. And also, was... and also tits. <laughs> but not really. A buff Asian man's sideburns. <laughs> Correct. It's a very important detail. Listen, you just gotta accept the presence of sideburns in Asian, in Asian media. It's an unfortunate well, everyone, every, The problem was everyone was else was drawing them as hair and like not really attached to his face. Oh yeah, so that's it's because like, it's not. It's definitely that's that's just <laughs> it's fucking yeah, grown out sideburn hair. It's very I'm not, very ex fucking I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting that. I can't deal with that emotionally. <laughs> it's 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 a very fucking Asian hairstyle. Except, because it's an it's an ethnic trait that like Asians have very full hair, and this is extends to everywhere they have hair, which includes like the sideburn area. So yeah. that's why in anime, when you see characters with sideburns, they're they're kind of it's a little bit like wonky, like even on even on the women. A bit. Yes, I know. Yeah, just a bit. Cause I know sideburns are like a like a masculine thing in like the and West, like a bit. Cause it's like cause yeah, it's connected yeah, to no. the facial hair. Yeah, I went. I, I fucking went to a hairdresser and she gave my sideburns off. And I'm so mad about that. I was growing that out, ma'am. Yeah. So like, um, in at least in like the areas of Asia that I'm familiar with, uh. It's kind of like, it's just another part of the hair on your head, so it's not really gendered. Like, there's yeah. specific, like, traditional hairstyles for women that involve, like, the, the sideburn area being grown out. As, like, like, framing for the bangs and all that. I legitimately did not know that women could grow hair as extensively there. Oh, yeah. It's not like I'd ever seen it. Uh, let's see. I think probably over here. Very interesting here. to know. But no, the man's sideburns are staying firmly attached to his head. Thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, I think that's probably a little bit why, why that character, is, why that character's like face design weirded me out, because like growing out the sideburns in that way is like you usually only see them in women characters. So just, it's I mean, I can't, I can't imagine him caring or, like, caring about that at all. It's not related to his special interests, so. Not about the hyperfixation, not important. White Road is making some good progress today. Oh, is it? Yeah. Now are you, like, adding more to the end of Spy Road? To the end of it? Anor. Anor. I don't know where you are on Spy Road. <laughs> uh, know that when I say end, I don't mean that like is Spite Road almost completed. I just mean like you're at like the end of where you last completed Spite Road and adding more to it. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm about a third of the way done. It's May. 
I'm not going to build anything else, am I? What the fuck is this? Hmm? 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 What are- what- what have you done? Pondering the nether sprouts. Oh, those only grow on, like, uh, certain grass, I think, yeah? Yeah, I think it's on, like, the fucking blue nice blue nicellium or some shit. It just- it just- it just looked funky to me in the Minecraft menu. Plants often do, I've found. There, there's no normal looking plants in Minecraft. Correct. Which is very hard for modders who want to design new stuff, because it's like, there's a style, and then all of a sudden there's an update, and the style completely changes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit fucked. Shout out to when there was only one kind of tree. <laughs> yeah. Good old days. And when there was only one kind of wood. Even when there was more than one kind of tree. <laughs> <laughs> so true, Biddy. Plants are the antithesis of block game aesthetic. They are so curvy. I built this the only road, the only road that I have ever known. On the something road, on the only road why road road. I swear I am actually capable of singing, I just choose not because I fear copyright. I mean you can't get copyright strike to play your own voice. I know, <laughs> I know you say that, but I don't believe you. <laughs> There's, there's that there's that whole like industry where people do like covers of songs online and don't get copyright striked. I thought you were getting taken down a bunch. Hmm? Like I thought you weren't allowed to do those anymore. What covers? Yeah. Really? Hmm. My my, my information's horribly out of date, isn't it? I don't know, of course. Look, I'm I'm very paranoid, and I don't have up to date information on anything ever. <laughs> I'm just like I'm constantly afraid of singing because I think someone's gonna get like take me down or something. Also, if they did, I mean, there's nothing I could do in, like, to defend myself. I mean, you can always take comfort in the fact that folk songs aren't copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, but that would require me to know more than, like, one. Whoops. And also to have the right voice for it. I, I have no idea what my vocal range is. I have like two different vocal ranges, and I don't know if that's how voices normally work. I don't know anything about singing or music or any of that in general. I did not give a shit about music for like my entire life and then someone introduced Legend of Zelda to me and I went, oh, I actually care about music now. Fuck. I do know that. Trying 
remember the name of it. What, the thing that I just found? Yeah, let's take us home, yeah? Yeah, lady, take us home. I thought I'd spend my life across the ocean. Why not? I don't. Fuck off, advertising. What's it? <laughs> I was out. I was about to ask. Hey, what did I do? <laughs> Not you. I was trying to pull up the lyrics, and it's like, hey, you have an ad blocker up. I'm like, I know. It's like, hey, might be because I hate you, ads. <laughs> Targeted ads can fuck off. Ah. Listen, like conceptually, I understand ads. I understand the concept. They advertise. Fucker is the equivalent of just leaving the room when the ads come on the TV. There's no reason you shouldn't do it. <laughs> The sites still get the same money from it. The advertisers don't care. I thought... I... I thought... <clears throat> I thought... To, I... Uh, I thought... To spend my early years across the open sea With not a care but finding all the wealth that I could keep Our ship she stood tall with twenty-six sails of sight for all to see not three weeks in. I can't get it. I'm sorry. He took a good nap that sent us right down to the sea. And, and the as the sky went in, I saw seven. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry. And the whole company to a port and the storm with an angel song on the sky that dawned in leaves. When the night is long and we're all full of dread, oh, where am I to go? For we're all lost and we're missing our beds, oh, lady, take us home. When we've run through our stores and the taking is hot, I don't know it. I'm sorry. I keep trying. I keep messing it up. I'm just not going to bother. I take it now we've no more love to know. I can't quite remember how that part went either. It's been a while since I've listened to it. Yeah. Some melodies are easier for me than others. It's like I'll be doing fine and I'll get to that one part. It's like ah shit, I don't know how this one goes. See if I can play it at low volume and try and sing along to it. Uh, see, you can play it at like whatever volume you want, and like I will not hear it unless. You yeah, no, that's why. I, that's why I'm saying. So I'm trying to hear it myself. Yeah. Thought to spend my early years across the open sea, with not a care but finding all the wealth that I could keep. Our ship she stood tall with twenty six sails aside for all to see. Not three weeks in, she took a good knock that sent her right down to the deep. And as the sky went dim, I saw several fins guide myself and the company. To a port in the storm with the nin who sign bore a star adorned in leaves. The night is long and we're 
sorrow, full of dread, oh, where am I to go? When we're all good and lost and we're missing our beds, oh, lady, take us home. When we've run through our stores and our taking is high and we've nowhere left to roam. Oh, we'll keep our chins up and we'll look to the sky. Oh, lady, take us home. Into the pay the land, lady, my share. I was struck by the sheen of her copper red hair. She wouldn't take our money us where we could find the mainland so we hold the boat there when the night is long and we're all full of dread oh where am i to go oh we're all lost and we're missing our beds oh lady take us home when we've run through our straws and our taking is high and we've nowhere left to roam oh we'll keep our chins up and we'll look to the sky oh lady take us home we found a new vessel no more than a year on the boat did we see that same lady appear on our coat step before a compass in hand she led us from where we could get back to land when the night is long and we're all full of dread, oh, where am I to go? Where we're all good and lost and we're missing our beds, oh, lady, take home. We run through our stores and our taking is high and we've nowhere left to roam. Oh, we'll keep our chins up and we'll look to the sky, oh, lady, take us home. Whoa. Uh, I'm sure that did not sound good. <sighs> the song I, um, sure got song. Yep. I don't think we have anyone here left. I think we. I think I scared him off. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, there's I, like there's like nine people here. <laughs> okay. This tent really is shaping up to be IKEA. Problem is, I quite enjoy singing. I'm just. Super, super paranoid about my singing voice. And I've never had any, A, I've never had any professional training, and B, my parents are both very good singers and were in choir for like their entire school years. And it's like, yeah. Oh god, that's a pit. I might try it again. I'm, no, I shouldn't. I'm sorry. Hmm. Nothing I'm muttering to myself. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab something to eat. Trying hard is 
Moment of perception. Moment of perception. Having an heart is a heart of a king. King of iron, king of steel. The heart is the loves everything like the hammer loves the nail. But the heart of a man is a single one, small and soft, flesh and blood, and God loves the woman. The woman is all of your lives, and your faith is king of the sons of the sword. Because the world is a chorus, he scrapes the sky and scars the earth, and he comes down heavy and hard on us. But even that world is still God's. Heart and something when peace on earth. When it was heavenly, walked in the garden, the sun on her shoulders, the wind in her hair, the scent of the flowers she held in her hand, and the palm of breath on her fingertips. And sad in the Hades was only a man with the taste of nectar upon his lips. Sing la 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 Come back, Eden. An important word on a tent. Word on a tent. An important word on a tent. May I try mm. yeah. what? May I try a different one? Yeah. Something that's actually within my vocal range a bit. Oh, what one is it? Um, I'll um Here, you can listen to it. This is just a audio version. Got fire. Oh. I don't recognize that one at all. Wood. Yeah, go nuts. <laughs>
little strange, the world is strange. It's all a game, a shooting range for apathy and empathy, psychology and therapy. And even if I'm eloquent, it's all defies my sentiment. The information is always there. It's in your food, entangled in your hair, and I see the exoskeleton. It's PVC or gelatin or wood or lead or anything for water, mud or medicine. So here's a song about everything. Let me cut it open and explore the information in the pipes that make it maze of logistical holisticism. Deep thought is in everyone and everyone's in deep thought all the time. Hovering intangibly is everything you mean to me. I'd open up your humming heart if only I knew where to start. This microscopes replace my eyes, and everything it magnifies is something new, but everywhere. You cast a shadow on the atoms in the air, and I see the breath you're drawing in. You're like a moving mannequin. There shouldn't be a thing in shot, but I could understand you if I tried, and let me tell you I've tried and tried, so let me cut you open and explore the information in the pipes that make you mazes of elusive existentialism. Multivac is everyone, and everyone's a circle in the ground. There's no emotion in my eyes. I'm just a robot in disguise. Passion when it came to me was more than thought fallacy. And I can feel the torch down the back of my throat illuminate from behind the puny words that I wrote. Don't trust me anymore. I just don't trust me anymore. Will cut me open and explore the information in the pipes that make a maze out of my logical determinism. I am hell and hell is me and you are me and we are all together. I am hell and hell is me and you are me and we are all together. Oh. I am hell and hell is me and you are me. Hopefully that was a bit better. Not a song I've heard before, but it was a neat one. I have placed the campfire in a less choking kind of a place. <laughs> ah. I have no idea where you are. Oh, I'm, I'm a little... It's a little, like, more towards the beginning of Spike Road. Aha! You are near the mountain pass. Yeah. And Crab has managed to build a crab tent. <laughs> the Church, Church of Crabtology. Amazing. Oh, it's in the book. There's nothing in here. It's in the book. Is there anything written in the book? No, there's not. I can take the book. <laughs> crab is just staring at us ominously. Hi, Alyssa Wirt. Yes, I'm aware that I'm being too hard on myself. I am very, very anxious about everything all of the time, especially when it comes to my own skill about things. I feel like that. Oh, that looks cool as hell. Hmm? Uh, Crab put up the uh, fancy rendered version of the road on the Your Walkers chat. Oops. Good enough. Oh, that's good enough. oh, yeah. Oh, that's real good, yeah. Excellent picture, Crabble.
at the I quite enjoy the sea shanties. They're just they're both too high pitched and too low pitched for me, so I can never like I can't tell if I need to go higher or lower with my voice. So I just end up with this weird middle ground where I it just doesn't feel or sound right. Oh dear. <laughs> And I couldn't tell how much of that was coming off and, like, how I actually sounded. Oh, right. First, it is time for snack, though. The snacky break. So I shall simply watch your stream. <laughs> Do you want to guess what the horrific snack is today? Is it pickle? It is pickle. Wait, how did you know? Did you hear me opening the jar? I mean, you've eaten pickles before. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of things before, Anor. <laughs> Specifically, it's pickles with garlic salt on them. I want to see if it tastes good. It does. Cool. Come back here. But I want. Oh, I don't have the lyrics, do I? I also didn't have the lyrics. <laughs> I think that's one of those songs where everyone thinks they know the lyrics and then they don't.
trying to remember songs I know. Pardon? I'm trying to remember songs I know. <laughs> it's always a difficult thing. It's like trying to remember what restaurants are near you. You remember until the exact moment you want to eat. <laughs> Correct. Once I fix this, it's like a little... There was an extra sea lantern sticking out. What I usually do is I pull up my Spotify and just scroll through it until I find, like, oh, I know that song. Hello, there, my smartphone. <laughs> I know there's a pitch I can sing that song in, but I never remember what it is. What song? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come I've to come talk speak to with you again. Because a vision, a vision means. And then we the lyrics. But it seems while I was sleeping. And the vision. Vision. I was planted in my still name. Touch the sound. Silence. In restless dreams, I walk alone. Narrow streets of cobblestone. Neath the halo of a street lamp, I, I turn my collar cold and damp. When my eyes, eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon lamp, I split it in the night and touched the sound of silence. And in the naked light I saw Ten thousand people, maybe more People talking without speaking People hearing without listening People writing songs that voices never shine, no and no one there. Disturb the sound of silence. silence. Who said I you do not know? Silence mm -hmm. like a cancer. Hear my words that I might teach you. Take my arms that I have beat you. But my words like silent raindrops and echoed in the well of silence. And the people bowed and prayed to the neon god they made. And the sign flashed out its warning. And the words that it was for me. Then the sign said the words of the prophets are written on the square walls in tenement halls and whispered in the sound of silence. We did it, we found a song we both knew. <laughs> Still a little bit pitchy there, but I'm all, I, I think I did better with that one. Pickles are definitely helping. It 100% it could be a placebo effect, 
it could be the vinegar i don't know but my mind just has it that pickles help with singing um which i think is part of why you associate me with eating pickles because i often eat them on stream or before a stream so i find that they help me they help me talk easier for longer amounts of time I don't make a habit of it, but I my singing seems to like objectively improve after I've drunk some alcohol. <laughs> huh. Not enough to actually get drunk, because that's not really a thing I do, but uh yeah. like just I've never had alcohol and I would like to once yeah. just to see what I am like drunk. Yeah. It's purely out of scientific curiosity, and that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, I'm not sure that I can actually get pleasantly drunk in the first place. Oh. It's, yeah, it's a... It, there, there's a genetic thing. Public grill to Jaybird Road. Is that a threat? Oh no, the uh, crab was putting down like a little... It sounds like a threat. No, Crab was putting something down when I last left them. <laughs> I feel flying, like I'm about to become barbecue. Flying at incredible speeds to investigate the bong and grill. <laughs> I will do so as well once I'm done with this section. Yeah. I've been looking for a place to put a uh, Stupid little balloons. But like, I didn't want to interrupt sea lanterns. And I'm realizing this bridge could have been a nice place to put stupid balloons. Rapidly investigating the bar and grill. Yeah, that's a bar and grill. <laughs> Huh. Sure is. There to feed the hungry travelers. Cool. You do realize this is like a major highway, right? Somebody's making bank with their <laughs> barn and grill. Like, the wider the road is, the implication is that, like, it's more used and likely to be faster paced. And this is the widest section I've built. <laughs> you just see one guy fighting for his life, growing 50 <laughs> stakes a second. Gravitalism. <laughs> <laughs> This road is not efficient in any way, because I planned it out, like, not not so much with the hope of, like, making a nice, fancy road, but in the hopes of having to do, like, a reasonable amount of work and not a stupid amount. <laughs> Which we've already, we're, we're already long past that point, really. I'm about to do something ill advised. Da -da 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 -da. You alright if I set tonight? Yeah, go nuts. I think once I've lit up this section, which will take a little while. Well, not a while, while, but like, once I've finished the section, I think we might want to wrap it up. Oops. Since there's no one in the chat anymore. Yeah, fair. 
Can I leash this bee? It's, it's not going very well. I got him. I don't know why, but the statement, we're trying to unleash this bee, is very funny to me. Uh, oh, oh, oh dear. Um, what? Uh, Did something ill advised happen? I, I wouldn't say ill advised. Oh, oh, wait. We're good. I'm just trying to find an appropriate place to put this uh, balloon. This balloon, if you will. Do you have a balloon on a lead, Anor? Is that what the balloon is? Or do you have a bee on a lead? You see, th this was not in fact my idea when I said I wanted balloons. <laughs> but I saw a bee walking by. <laughs> and that's what's happening now. The way you started that sentence was just very funny. <laughs> I still can't believe we just, within the span of two days, immediately honed in on the exact same special interest. It wasn't so much that I dragged you into it, and more that I just, I, I grabbed you by the neck and threw you into a new special interest. It just happened at the same time. <laughs> was this all, wait, were, was this already something of interest to you before I even noticed? Like, uh, I mean, like, when you mentioned you started playing with Legends of Arceus, I, I, yeah. I did tell you, like, hey, the one character that's not an ancestor. <laughs> well, I thought it was more like, hey, so there's this, like, you know, there's this guy. He's, he's cool. It's like, okay. That's it. Like, I, I didn't think it was significant in any way. But it does make sense looking back. To be back. fair. My interest did intensify as you got interested. <laughs> oh yeah, because I just kept bombarding you with stuff. Crap, to be fair, I had been there for over a year by that point. Crab. Simply appears everywhere. In Minecraft and on Discord. I mean, it wasn't so much drag me as more I kind of showed up there, I guess. I mean, to be fair, not much has happened on that server since. I feel like most of the ideas that could have been explored either were explored or people haven't been interested in exploring them. I mean, finally, it's time for me to do... Nobody and there's also them. the issue of, I can't draw children, that kind of comes into play. And also the fact that you went, actually, let's not have any angst at all for warriors, which went, which, I mean, it, 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 you can't just, you can't just do that, Crab. You can't just do that. Wait, how did you get banned from, what did you, what did you, Anor, or Crab, what did you do? I didn't do nothing, I was just right here. Crab. Crab, what did you do, Crab? That's not an answer, Crab. I, I will say that, like, to be fair... To be fair... The official Link Universe stuff is, like, not doing the hottest on account of that, like, vaguely system-phobic stuff. Yeah. That came, that came up with four. I, I don't feel that that was intentionally like. I, I think that was just largely a matter of ignorance. Yeah. Not a matter of active. It definitely dislike. wasn't active 
active bigotry, but like, and on, it's happened. also, also, it's not the first time that they've said something like that. Uh, they said something kind of similar when they were discussing Twilight, and it's like no one cared about that. What did they say about Twilight? Um, that they liked that there wasn't any stuff about them being like a furry or kin or whatever because they thought that was odd. Ah, uh, that's not too off color. Like, I don't remember the exact wording. It was just very like, I don't understand this and it kind of confuses me. Not in a, I'm actively threatened, but more of a, I don't know what's going on here. Which, honestly, I pr probably would have said the same thing if I had been in a similar position. Like, it wasn't until, like, the fairly recently that I knew systems were even a thing at all. Hard save, honestly. You encounter the most random things online. And, like, I don't... I, I think it's... It's never really been the fandom that's had an issue with it. I think it's just the creator saying, this isn't my particular interpretation. And other other fanfic writers have said the exact same thing. Just, you know, different interpretations of the character. Mm. Like, yeah, the way that they worded it was a bit like, I don't understand this and it's kind of odd to me. Um... But it was entire like I, I like I, I I'm I'm staying here. I'm not coming from a place where I recognize that I'm not completely a part of this. I am not a system. I'm or I'm not part of a system. Like I recognize that. I'm not saying that I have the final say here or that I have any higher of a say than anyone else. That's purely just my opinion on this. I honestly, like, I hadn't noticed that anything had changed. But I also am not really on the server that much. I only really, like, check out... I only really keep up with the fanfiction. And that's about it. And even then, I haven't been actively looking at that lately just because of I lost my freaking phone in the Smoky Mountains. Rip to the Smoky Mountains phone. I guess the thing that happens with like a lot of creators or like people who end up with substantial followings, it's like when you only see them for the stuff they make, you're kind of like allowed to think whatever you want of them. Now like you're allowed to assume that they know certain things or that they're accepting of certain things. Because like if you look up to them, you you'd want them to like the same shit that you would and then you're kind of like allowed to maintain that illusion until they say something that severely implies otherwise yeah like i honestly don't see why this would be such a divisive thing for the fandom it's just like okay the like <sighs> It's not like this person came up with the concept of Legend of Zelda, or even the concept of, you know, different iterations of Link meeting each other. So much of the character's well, characterization has come purely from fandom. Like, if you look at the actual, like, original content from them, it's very bare bones. And there, I mean, there is a lot of it, and I think it's, you know very good, I think it's very well done art, 
and I think it's an interesting story, but it, it's not the characters... It, how do I word this? Yes, they're the one who started this off. That doesn't make them... I don't think that gives them any more power over the characters than any other creator within the fandom, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, death of the author, except, like, it's not even the author in the first place, really. Yeah. And if you teleport to me, you will see my bagoonses. Oh boy. That's it. That's the balloons. <laughs> <laughs> they are very nice balloons. Yeah, this, this, you can also, uh, this area is also called, um, the area where I got fed up with Minecraft glass. <laughs> it doesn't look right. Yeah, we, you, you can see that something what happened here. <laughs> something unspeakable. Undescribable. <laughs> no, I can describe it as I wanted to have a cool, like, thing where you can look out onto the river, but you can't. Because the glass is too thick and weird and not good. Yeah, the the, the, the glass texture in Minecraft fucking sucks. Whoops. Uh, like, the stained glass texture is just marginally better, but not that much. Mm. It's the it's the hard barriers that do it. Yeah. Like it having texturing at all is completely fine. Just like not hard barriers. <laughs> yeah, we we, all, we can't all have NASA built computers, crab. Real. <laughs> Goodbye, Eerie. Eerie yeah. was in the chat. No new shaders. Kids these days and their damn shaders. Kids these days and their Minecraft mods. I remember when Bedrock Edition was creative only. <laughs> I have no idea whether or not I'm older or younger than Crab. <laughs> I mean, Crab's still in high school, so. Oh, fuck. I don't like being an adult. I don't like being the older one here. Make it stop. Can, can I set the time today? Well, oh yeah, I finished uh, lighting the area that I was gonna light up. Bye. Hey. I wanted to see the dams. Pardon? I wanted to see the dams that are by the road. Ah. Yeah, I never quite finished with that. Oh, it was gonna be yours? like a proper city. Oh, these are yours? Okay. Yeah, that's all mine. 
I, I figured that there was a chance they would have been since they're right next to the road. Yeah. But also, the, somebody the, else the, could have just done it. Yeah. The crab is new, though. The crab is not mine, as you can imagine. Pickle crab. But yeah, the idea was to have a, a, a city here with like a shallow river flowing through it. Um. So the idea was that like this road would be connecting multiple different cities rather okay. than just one. Oh, oh, there's a lot of bays opening all of a sudden. I think crabs are just spawning bees. That sounds right. Are they all named? They're every single one of them is named Beloon. What chaos have I wrought unto this world? Oh, this one isn't. Uh, some of these are naturally spawned bees, I think. At least one of them is. another natural bee over here. There's one way over here. Did, did you know you can kill the wither with just bees? I did not, but that does not surprise me. I mean, you need a lot of bees, but it can be done. <laughs> I can imagine. Oh god, the mini-map. <laughs> Is the mini-map dying because of the bees? It's not dying, but it... it, it... I'll, I'll send you a screenshot a second. Is it, is it painfully aware of the bees? It, it, not painfully, it's just very funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh... If people have been like fucking around with the warden snapshot, the new yeah. warden snapshots, and uh, a, a certain somebody, it was Felza, uh, <laughs> figured out that El figured out that Elytra would make that, um, that like if you have Elytra, and like you just click it, you just activate it fast enough. The, the Sonic fuck is up with these squids. Huh? Where? The squids in the river. The one that, uh, crab spawned. So now for a fact there weren't squids here before. Oh, there's a lot of little squids here. Hmm. Is that a thing now? I mean... This is a cave mob. I don't think they should be... Here, specifically. Wow, who could possibly could have done this? I can't imagine. I see, I say, staring at crab as they sprint across the horizon. Real. So, actual guy feels a. What is this thing? Fucking around with the warden snapshot. And hmm. he figured out that if you activate your, the elytra, like, at a good time when the warden unleashes the sonic attack, it just fucking launches you. It it can launch you like past the render distance of the ground. With uh, no less damage than expected. <laughs> So you can use wardens as a very, very risky alive hey, launcher. Yeah. Teleport to me a second. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> 
to assume I can't keep teleporting. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a village here. Do you know where it is I teleported you to? No, but I've been teleported again. <laughs> I can see that. Where have we been taken? There appears to be another seafood restaurant. <laughs> oh, is that what these are? No, it's, it's a cemetery. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, right, I was the one who made that joke. Are these okay. like half slabs of water? Oh yeah, water can do that now. Huh. Cool. There's all this profound There's... llama empire lore happening, and then meanwhile the encroaching crab religion. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot about the lore a long time ago. Uh, the lore went away when Spite Road appeared. There's there's a lot of act there's a lot of there are so many Ashul and they stuck in this crab's mouth. Were you not here for that? I could have oh. sworn you were. I was not here for that. Were you not here for Jaybird the Lesser? Where? The, the, no? Okay. No, I don't think I was here for it. Huh. Could have sworn you were there for that. Hey, ah, uh, yes, the enrichment. Hey, Anor, could you tell me a second? Could I what? Could you teleport to me a second? I have been forcibly teleported to Crab. <laughs> when you're done with that. Middle of nowhere bird sanctuary. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fuck, it, it really is a middle of nowhere bird sanctuary. <laughs> it's got cocoa beans and everything. They truly are enriched. <laughs> <laughs> when you're done with that, could you come teleport to me? I have something to show you. Hey. Once you get here, I will request that you crouch. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know where we are, Raynor? <laughs> oh fuck! Everyone run! <laughs> I don't know where this is. <laughs> oh, we're inside the crab. <laughs> <laughs> We've been found! Scatter! <laughs> 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 I realized that the uh, crabs were large enough to hollow out. <laughs> so I hollowed them out and teleported you into it and then teleported away. As one does. And then. You were showing, talking about the larger crab with the enrichment, so I hollowed that one out too and teleported you into it. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you were, I think you were inside the claw of it. But, like, for me, because I have the mini-map, it's very obvious where I am. But I realize that for you, because you don't have that, you just, it looks like you're just in a, like, a void. Just, like, in a blank, featureless red room. Which was very funny to me, personally. <laughs> All right, I will be right back once again. Still being in a movie If I'm showing you all I ever felt Would you stay? Then you push me away If you can move on Hide my scars You make me scream when I'm alone I have got a back over it. I went back over it. What a concurrent viewer pog. <laughs> okay. I mean, hey, I still appreciate I still appreciate you here anyway. For those that stick. For those that really stick around, you know? I've gone backward on the path. I've been teleported so many times that I've gone backwards. And you know, it wasn't a net loss. The stream did not crash. The donos worked. We got a non-zero amount of primes. What else can a Minecraft Twitch streamer ask for in this, on this dark bitch of an earth? Aside from, like, maybe trying to understand where I am. These are troubling times. And, you know, I do accept that I, I am constantly stream sniped by my own fellow server members, but I accept that <laughs> I'm not here for the PvP.
If I was here to be good at Minecraft, I probably would have cried. <laughs> but I'm here to walk down roads and look at parrots. No wall parrot. Oh, uh, what's the screenshot command again? Is it like F1? It was F2. Listening to. There's so much to unpack here. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm listening to. Am I toggling the music? Is that what's happening? <laughs> This is honestly a really impressively long road. Like, I'm admiring the dedication here. I'm back. Yeah, well. Yellow? You were briefly imprisoned in a birdcage, which was then detonated around you. <laughs> yeah, right. Sounds about- yeah, okay. Which I do have a screenshot of. I'll just have to remember how to retrieve screenshots from Minecraft. <laughs> I reached the end of the spite road. How fun. Is it everything you hoped for? Yes, it gave, it gave me the long march, which I exactly expected. I have five, five different music discs entitled Chirp in my inventory. Yeah, a bunch of music boxes were placed above your head in oh, the bird cage. Oh, good lord, there's a lot of them. Bird box. Very funny. Finish walking the lonely road, can achieve the page. I built the lonely road, Sarah. I have become bored. I'm gonna, like, take this long agonizing journey back to where your nether portal is. 
and then go to spawn because there's like a few things I want to test to make sure that they work do you in want, Minecraft. Do you want me to teleport to spawn and then bring you there? Yeah, that'll work. Let me teleport to you real quick. Yeah, because I'm at spawn right now. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do some some testing of Minecraft things that like I, I trust that they'll work, but I want to I want to check that they do the thing. Also I've exited out of your Twitch thing because the only person left in chat was Crab. Yeah. Crab out there being one of the OG. I'm to... now playing yeah. I'm now playing Pokemon Arceus and trying to get my fucking Stantler evolved. Oh my god. <laughs> the struggle. What? Me reacting to you trying to evolve your Stantler. Well, okay. So I need to use the move Psy Shield Bash in Agile style twenty times. Using any move in Agile style uses double the power, because I'm not calling it PP, because ha ha dicks, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, uses double the power. Psy Shield Bash already only has 10 power. So that means I can only get 5 uses out of it at any given time. If I miss, or if the Pokemon dodges, that's another 2 uses gone. So I have to get 20 confirmed hits with this. And every five attempted uses, I have to go back and heal. Also, Pokemon can run away. I have to manage to hit them. I have to manage to not die. So I think I'm at like 12 confirmed uses right now. Extremely horrific. Yep. Uh, I'm testing two things. Uh, uh, it's 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 for half stack reasons. Uh -huh. I'm still here on the server, by the way. I don't know why I am, honestly. Oh, oh yeah. I might not be. Wait, yes, I am. Yeah, maybe if I did something other than just building a fucking road, I wouldn't get bored so quickly. Oh. So what I'm doing is I'm putting uh -huh. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are no. putting a, a small man into a cart. No. Oh god, this happened to me. Okay, wanna... this happened to me. I made my mistakes. I'm trying to put a boat inside a minecart. <laughs> yes. Maybe oh, wait. press ship, like crouch, and then do it? Or jump. There we go. Maybe. No. Nope. Right. Perhaps. Oh, wait. Try putting a block above it and putting the boat on the block. Like, uh... I'm, I'm, re I'm realizing suddenly that the reason I put this in a hole is for, like, an entirely different thing. <laughs> like, There's... put the, the boat on this block here. Uh, fuck. <laughs> or... No, wait, stay there a second? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> What have you done to me? How could this happen to me? <laughs> I've made my mistake. <laughs> uh. Fuck. <laughs> I've just made a mess. Okay, so I'm trying to put a pig in a minecart and then put the minecart um. in a hole. I'm going somewhere with this, I swear. <laughs> You're laughing. 
laughing. I'm trying to do Minecraft signs and you're laughing. <laughs> 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 I don't know, just all of it, just the concept, just the fact that it's, seven, it's eight in the afternoon and I have nothing better to do with my life and you're putting a pig in a minecart. <laughs> The fact that I've lost control of my life. And you're big in a mind. Okay, can you get out of the mind card? What are you doing? Okay. Also the, fact, also, the fact that I know you're using this knowledge for the purpose of train go fast. Okay, in this specific instance, this is not about train go fast. This is about well, something no. else entirely. No, it. <laughs> You said I'm gonna put a pig in a minecart, and because I thought this is for train go fast, my brain, in an amazing moment of word association, went, that's not a very nice thing to call Emmett. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that broke. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't stop moving the pig. I'm trying to do something with it. <laughs> Wait, hold on, do I have a- do I have a- <laughs> Oh, it's Grandpa. Grandpa's committing Tom Cateries. You're gonna be consistently using this one pig, right? Yeah, I, I, need, I need this- <laughs> Crab, I'm trying to figure out a way to make people sit in Minecraft. <laughs> Goodbye. Please, bye. <laughs> I'm trying to make like a, I'm trying to make like a, like a fucking fake chair thing. Listen, I was just thinking that like, if I put the pig in the minecart with the saddle, No, come over here, you little. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Come over here. Yeah. You daft little bastard. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Come here, you daft piece of shit. <laughs> I do see what you're doing now. <laughs> come on. Come on, little stupid. Do you need help? Maybe. Okay, I need. Okay, the hole needs to be longer. <laughs> that was uh... <laughs> That was my hubris. <laughs> I'm, oh, I mean, how could you do this to Emmett? How could you slander Emmett's good name in this way? Okay, I'm trying to- I'm trying to get the pig inside the minecart. You've gone completely insane. I realized that I may need to explain my thought process slightly. Okay. No, we don't. <laughs> don't explain any of this. I'm thinking... Crap, I'm gonna need you to dismount. <laughs> That's a very functional chair right there. <laughs> this is definitely what chairs look like normally. Yeah, there's more steps to this thing. <laughs> Please, there are more steps. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I'm trying to see if I can get the fucking... <laughs> no. Okay, I want the... I want the... 
I'm trying to see if I can get... <laughs> I need the carpet to go on top of the pig, to disguise the pig, and then you can sit down on the pig above the carpet, and then it sits down. <laughs> Okay, I can do it. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I can do it. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> do you see? Do you see how I suffer for my own? <laughs> oh, I see. So, I see so, something. I should. <laughs> Oh, fuck, I'm gonna need another reel. I need another reel for this. I'm sorry, tender piggy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me just, let me just gonna half slam real quick. Any Can't slam breathe. will do. Please. <laughs> My insanity will not end. No, just look. Just look. No, oh, where am I going? Where am I going? No! No! Where are you going? No! You killed Emmett! You killed Emmett! God, I don't know how to fix no, this. No, there's another Emmett right here. It's fine. Doesn't make it better. It's okay, he lives on in another timeline. <laughs> okay. Oh, Wait, shit. can you not just like. Hold on, I accidentally f 5 Okay. I had to like push him onto a half slam for him to be like short, like the, to go under the thing. So I'm trying to get the carpet over him. Yeah. Which like it should be possible because you can place carpet on thin air. Mm. Do I need and to yeah. place the car the air carpet like before I push him in? Is that what it is? Because I know you can push mobs under carpet when it's already been placed. Trying to help, I swear. I'm. Oh, Why is not... it not doing the thing? Please. I th maybe it was too high up. Mm. But now it's just lower down, and now the chair would be. No! No. No, I just broke it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break it. I thought I was helping. One sec, let me put all my. Okay, so carpets can't be placed on air. We're doing... We're being we're doing, we're doing substantial Minecraft science here, you guys. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. String? No, uh, the, the snow, what, whatever crab's doing with the stick. No, the pig is being drowned! <laughs> but 
Please. <laughs> Please, don't ping me. <laughs> ping me is no longer drown. Okay. And this is why I have sponge on me at all times. What are you doing? I'm doing my best. Not you. This. Oh. That crab has a debug stick. So I guess he's messing around with the textures or something. Okay. okay. I've done it. I've done it. I've placed carpet on top of air. Now let me just push the piggy in there. Oh my god. I've done it. I've done it, now I need another string. And I put this, put this string. And then I put the... Put, put, put. <laughs> well, how do you sit on them, on them now? Because I can't, I like... Can't, uh... Fuck. <laughs> Hold on. Let me empty inventory real quick. So that I have, like, an empty hand thing to... I've certainly done something. <laughs> Be a cherry or <laughs> I want you to notch us to this. Did not work out. Is it on a half slab? Yeah, cause that was uh... cause one block, <laughs> one block wasn't shallow enough, and then two blocks was too deep. So this I put a half slab funny. trying to do it, but it didn't work out. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm trying to create a platform that a character can sit on. Crab, do you think you could use your debug stick for something helpful? <laughs> crab can crab can ruin Ender Chest as much as he wants. I'm... Well, yeah, this is my Ender Chest with my stuff in it. I don't know how it moved, but I've certainly done it. Ah, oh, shit! Come on, come on, let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anna, <laughs> please make sure you're getting a record of this. <laughs> what hath science brought? It is broth this. Wait, this is supposed to work. How does this work? Uh, this isn't working how I thought it would. Crap. I thought you were supposed to be able to steer this. Hmm? I was supposed to dramatically exit the hole. I mean, it's inside a minecart, and minecarts say I can't move without rails. Heck! <laughs> I'm gonna try something different. I feel like crabs getting bored, and instead of just like finding somebody else to do, they've decided to cause chaos and problems. Yeah, it sounds about right. Go on, boat, boat. Keep finding alpha wormholes, which is inherently funny. Oh, Pokemon? Yeah. It's alphas are like boss Pokemon, but wormholes are worms. 
So it's an incredibly powerful worm. So did you know that there's this mod called Cork that lets you sit on stairs as if they were chairs? Um, yeah, I'm aware that there's mods that let me do this. But like, like really easily, like it takes a second to, to get it working. Is it another alpha worm pole like five feet away? All right, seriously though, I should head upstairs before my mom heads to bed. Okay. Are you likely to continue streaming for longer than another 15, 20 minutes? Uh, no. Okay. Um, I will still mute myself just in case you continue yet. Oh, I've made it inside the thing. Hmm. How did I gain viewers in the most boring part of the stream? <laughs> Greetings, federal agents. I tried and failed to make a pig into a chair. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to sit in Minecraft. It's all I wanted. It's all I wanted. <laughs> Please, my sitting powers. Okay, I'm back already. I'm trying to scoop this as, as much into the corner as possible. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try and fix the mess a bit. Sorry for just fully losing my mind there for a bit. I mean, to be fair, it's a, it's a very absurd kind of situation. <laughs> I've concluded that boats are slightly less horrible. At doing chair things, but like, at what cost? <laughs>
Yay. They changed the color on birch saplings. It looks oh. much nicer than it did. Uh, the birch saplings look pretty. Oh. Crab has a fun fact for us. Oh no. <laughs> Minecarts can ride in boats. Is the order minecart and boat? I thought it was like boat and minecart. Can you put a pig in a minecart in a boat? Oh yeah, it's completely possible. I just don't know how to do it. That's like a trick you can use to like put more than one to put more than one entity inside a uh, minecart just by sticking a bow in it or some shit. But I cannot remember how to do it. I think I fixed the grass for the most part. I'm sure I'm missing something yet. I shall go back to funny monster game. As one does. My current goal, other than evolving the um, Stantler, is finding a, uh, what are they called? Munchlax? Mm -hmm. Apparently there's like a 3 to 8% chance of them spawning in this one area. Which is fairly normal, like, the kind of bullcrap you get from Pokemon games. But since there's so fewer Pokemon in any given area in this game, it's just, it's a pain. And like, you can't just run around the tall grass anymore. It's like a whole thing to catch stuff, which I do like. But it makes, you know, the stupid percentage rates like that just incredibly frustrating. Oh shit. <laughs> What'd you do? The minecart fell in the water. I'm trying to push these two things together. I'm trying to push a minecart and a boat together. I know it is possible. I have seen it. Would done. it not be easier to just have a minecart on a rail and then the rail drops off into a boat? That's what I was trying to do. I, I did not do it very well. Well, I don't know if you need the water here. Oh, the water was from a previous failed science attempt. Yeah, come on. Ah. Come on, get in. Get in, my bangers. Get on. Come on then. Oh, it didn't work out. Maybe... Put another minecart down. Uh, on the track? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Push me, push me. Okay. Bye -bye. I want to see if this will work better with if there's a person in it. Hmm. Uh, nope, now I'm in the boat instead. Hmm. I can't tell if it's like a put a boat into the car or put the car into the boat. I don't, I'm not sure which one is which. I can switch between cart or boat, but not both. The cart does not seem to be a boatable entity. Wait, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
I, d I just didn't realize there's water in there. Oh, gonna be another blank space. That settles it. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to research. Yeah. With varying success. I know now where I need to look, it's just a matter of, you know, finding them. And because there's no breeding in this, in this game, I can catch a Snorlax, but that doesn't help me. I don't know why they took that out of this game. That would have been cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call it on the stream specifically. Oh, you vanished. Yeah, I'm call I'm calling it on the stream specifically. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll probably continue to draw my character. Yeah. Since now I'm starting to get a better idea of what they look like. Never a high turnout, but you know, I still had fun anyways. I mean, by my standards, it was a high turnout. Yeah. The VODs are there to remember the fun times. <laughs> Don't say that I lost one of my VODs. <laughs> The odds are there to remember some of the fun no. times. No. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably do another stream sometime soon. Like, um, maybe next week. And it'll be I'd either. I'd like to do. It'll either be me trying and failing Minecraft hardcore again, or maybe. Maybe I'll make it under high pixel. Who can say? Not me. Hopefully, I can continue uh, Outer Wilds. Save for the stream I lost! <laughs> Which of all the games to lose a stream on? Like, it had to be the one that not only do I highly enjoy, but like, you really need the continuity for. Yeah. But anyways, goodbye to the stream. See ya.